everyone, congratulations on your purchase of your new wireless chandelier. I'm going to walk through kind of an express setup and help you understand how to put it together. So first of all, you want to take everything out of your package and lay it somewhere on the floor or on a table where you can work. You'll see that all the crystals are in alphabetical order, so I recommend laying them out in alphabetical order. It'll just be easier to follow the assembly instructions. You also get your column and you'll get your base of your chandelier or the arms. Included is two ceiling hooks and a 10 foot chain, I believe. You also get a power adapter if you choose not to do wireless. You get your remote control and you'll get five light bulbs. Now these light bulbs are made exclusively for this lamp. So you cannot use incandescent bulbs, you have to use these. If forever you have a problem with them or you break one or lose one in the process, just give us a call and we'll have replacements for you. So also, you'll need to locate your assembly instructions which are inside one of your crystal boxes. So check carefully, make sure you find everything. On the front of the instructions, you have a step-by-step -step process of how to put it together. And on the back, you have a diagram that labels all the crystals so you know which letters go to which arm and which area. So for beginning, you'll start at the front. And what we have, after you place everything out and you're ready to go, your very first step is gonna be to connect the column to the base. And we have a male and a female plug to do this. It's pretty easy. It, it only goes in one way. So once you figure out how to put it in there, you just click it and it's done. And then from there, you'll want to hide the wires best you can and put the column on. A trick to getting this level is to twist it backwards just a bit and that'll align your thread and then you can twist it in. It's about 20 rotations before this is tight. So just keep going until it feels snug, but you don't need to over tighten. And then from there, it recommends that you open up all of the arms in a pentagon shape. And they don't have to be perfect because you can adjust them afterwards, but it's just to get started. So just like that, just the shape of a pentagon, kind of put them equally. You also have these little plastic rings which are going to hold some of your crystals. So make sure they're all dangling from the arms. So from here, we recommend that you start by assembling the sockets and the bobesh trays. So number, letter, yeah, number I, letter I, is your tray, which is called a bobesh or a drip tray. You'll place that over the socket, and then you'll also find H, which is our kind of faux candle, makes your socket look like a candlelight, and you just slide that over there, it holds it in place. And next we recommend that you move on to J, and then continue through the alphabet, just so you can finish your drip tray here. So by doing that, you'll want to either pinch or open the little wire hooks on the crystals, and simply slide them into one of the wire circles on here. And you'll want to complete each one. I'm going to just go through one at a time to show you where they all go. It'll save us time on the video. So after you finish J, you'll want to move on to A. And it, again, if you look at your diagram, you're going to see on the back here, you'll locate A, which is these crystals here. And where they go is going to be on the ring. So I'm going to turn this so that we can demonstrate it all in one arm. So this you'll want to hook. Like I said, you can pinch them or pull them apart you want to hook inside one of the holes on the ring. It can be a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, you'll kind of just go along smoothly. And then continue to go on through all the parts. I'm going to go through pretty fast. Next step is B, and if you laid yours all out in order, it'll be pretty quick. So you find B, and then you look on your diagram, and you see where B goes, and it's going to go at the top of this, I guess it's like an enlargeable bech tray. So the top of your bobesh is going to get one of these. And then just keep going. So we're going to go see. I'm going to locate them all for you because in case you have any questions, then you'll, you'll be able to refer back to the video. So C then is going to go on the bottom tray. And this is kind of an inverted bobesh tray. It's just for decoration. So I will slide that in there. And then you see where those three go. So then D is actually going to be your crystal ball. And I recommend doing this last because this is going to be on the bottom of your entire chandelier and it'll be a lot easier if you do everything else first. So just take D and set it aside till later and then move on to E. When you go to your diagram, you'll find that E is going to be the swag that goes from the ring on the chandelier arm to the other ring. So this is going to go ring to ring. Like I said, these are a little tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad. You do have to get it in that little hole. If you choose to not put it in the hole, you could just as easily connect it to the ring if you find that easier. Uh, it's not going to change much in the, the um, look of the chandelier, so don't be afraid to do that. I'll show you what it looks like here. So if I were to skip the ring, regularly it would hang there, 
or hang here, but if I skip it, it hangs right there. So it's not that big of a deal. So it's up to you, your personal preference, whatever is easier. So from E, then we go to F, and we'll see that F is another swag piece. But for this one, F is going to go from Bobesh tray to Bobesh tray. I forgot about that, so let me show you how that goes. So after you assemble those, then you're going to go find one of the hooks on the Bobesh, thread your crystals in there, and then go to the next one. And I kind of recommend doing these evenly. Um, so you would do like two and three and then leave your center so you can hook it up here. But again, it's all personal preference. However you want to, it's up to you. Same with the color scheme. You can do it however you want. It is laid out to go in order, but everybody has their own opinions on those. So after you've completed F, you'll move on to G. And you'll see it's a much larger swag without a middle crystal. And G is going to go from your top bow bech down to your uh, socket bow bech. So do the same thing, you know, as you thread it through here. Oh, and it's moving. Come on. And then that's going to come down here. Once your when your trays have all of the crystals on it, they're not going to tip like mine are. It's because I didn't complete it, so they're feeling the weight on one side. So as you can see, we've moved through G, and then this is H, this is I, and J we already put on, which is right here. So this is one side of the assembly. You're going to need to complete that on everything. Um, so hopefully this is very helpful. My other two things I want to point out is the light bulbs will just go straight into the socket. Your power plug, which is included, you can either plug it in the top or you can plug it in the side. And if you are going to use the power cord, our only recommendation is that you measure the length from your ceiling to your socket and make sure that wherever you do position this, that your, your cord will reach. Otherwise going to be a little bit troublesome. Uh, for the ceiling hooks, same thing. They need to be able to hold 20, 20 pounds weight. So wherever you put it, either put it in a stud or we included some anchors that you can use. So make sure you use those if you need them. And for the remote control, the batteries are going to go on the top of your battery box. And it's simply just placing a D battery inside there. There's a ribbon lead so that you can pull the batteries out easily once you, you know, if you need to replace them. So once you put all those in, in order to sync your remote, there's a little tiny button on the top here, and that is your sync button. And what you'll do, you'll hold that until the lights start blinking. Once the lights start flickering, take your remote control, point it at it, that powers it off, and then it should power back on. So after that, you should be all set and ready to use your wireless remote control. Don't forget to put your crystal ball on. No, I did not explain that, but your, your crystal ball or your disco ball will hang from the bottom here. Thank you for joining us today. Enjoy your new chandelier.